Check that big board. We're near the lows of the day, actually, down 123 points. It's not a major pullback, but we are down about a half percentage point. David Barnson, Chief Investment Officer at the Barnson Group of Hightower Advisors, joins us now. What do you think we get to first? 27,000 on the Dow or a significant pullback? A significant pullback, no. I think you could pull back a bit before we hit 27, but at about 400 points away, it seems a little silly to bet against that. I would guess 27,000. I think the short-term movement is probably less important than the fact that eventually we're going to 30,000. I'd be investing for 30 more than 27 versus 26. Oh, you got that in very nicely. So we're going to go to 30,000 at some point well, of in the reasonably near future. I have, I mean, my lifetime, I have a for very example. high degree of confidence in that. And not just your <laughs> lifetime. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, David. Much Thank sooner much. than that, my friend. Well, glad to hear it. <laughs> Interest rates are creeping up. Well, I've got a yield of 2.71% on the 10 year Treasury key benchmark. That's a, a, a warning signal for stocks, isn't it? It can be, although it has not been all the way from 220 up to 265, 270. Markets have rallied dramatically as interest rates have moved 50 basis points in the last year. I think 3% is maybe a number to watch. There's a big difference between the rate going higher because of economic growth, I thought that's what we want, yeah. versus the rate going higher because of inflationary pressures. So it is not the rate going higher that matters. It's the reason the rate goes higher. So far, it's healthy. What, what do you think the reason is? It, right now, it's economic productive growth? economic growth. Interest rates going higher organically because of productive economic growth is what you want. It's what stocks want. It's when inflationary pressures enter, or if inflationary pressures enter, that you have to be more careful. Okay. Do you think the market's down 130? 30 points now because of a sharp rise in interest rates and maybe inflationary pressure still to I come? actually think it's more Apple than anything else today. Really? But, you know, we okay. say it all the time and everyone knows that 123 is not what it used to be. It's equivalent to That's for sure. what used to be a 50 or 60 point day. That brings me to the big tech companies. They yeah. report this week, Wednesday and Thursday. What do you think? I, I think they are likely to put a big chunk of the money that they bring back from overseas and they get from the government in tax cuts. I think they'll put a lot of it into uh, stock buybacks and dividends. What say you? I hope they do, and I also think that that will not be the whole story. They are going to hire new people. They are going to raise wages. They're going to invest in new capital expenditure programs. It isn't just Apple, Amazon, Google that we should be talking about. There's a whole technology spectrum out there, a lot of which needs new infrastructure, new business investment. But I think to the extent that there's dividend payments and stock buybacks, there is capital formation taking place that is vital to economic growth. It's going to be demonized out of ignorance by the left. But as far as the fundamental benefits to the economy, it's substantial. But unlike 2003 and 4, you see companies going out of their way to advertise bonuses. Yeah. wage increases, new hiring, I think all of that is going to play into a pro-growth narrative based in facts. Interesting. David, thanks very much for joining us, sir. Great Always appreciate it. I like that bit about 30,000 in the near future. Yes, sir. Yeah. Repeat it. <laughs> <Interesting>. yeah. <laughs> 30,000 in the near future. Okay, I got it's it. Coming. Right, right. It's coming. <laughs> right. It's coming.